Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indonesia. A nation that is famous for the thousands of islands and unique culture. It is said that this nation is filled with many, if not lots of beautiful places to visit and gorgeous scenery. Home to many native and flora and fauna that cannot be found in the rest of the world. Having hidden treasure that lies in the many islands. One of them being East Nusa Tenggara, or they call it as Nusa Tenggara Timur. Come, let us know Nusa Tenggara Timur better! East Nusa Tenggara, or NTT, is a province that is in the southeast of Indonesia, and it is made up of several tiny islands, the biggest being Flores, Sumba, and Timor. Its capital is located in the island of Timor. East Nusa Tenggara is great to visit because of its nice beaches, amazing scenery, and quite affordable to visit for tourists. If you are going to Entate, I would recommend some places to visit, like the island of Komodo, the Mount Kalimutu, and Labuan Bajo, which will be explained in more detail right after this. Labuan Bajo is a fishing town located at the western end of the large islands of Flores in the Nusa Tenggara region of East Indonesia. As a tourist, it is a great start to visit Entete because of its gorgeous view, amazing clean beaches and ocean, and having all the facilities a tourist would need. Labuan Bajo is also a gateway to the islands of Komodo because of how close it is which is also a gateway to our next destination. The Komodo Island is an island particularly notable as the habitat of the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard on earth. This is a special one for tourists as they can get to the island via boat or airplane full of Labuan Bajo. While you can sometimes interact with the Komodo dragon, but it is recommended to keep a safe distance from this lizard as they can bite or harm human if sense danger. They are also an endangered species and is protected by the Indonesian government. Mount Kalimutu is a volcano located in central Flores Island. In the Mount Kalimutu, there is three volcanic crater lakes. What is interesting about this lake is the different color of each crater. The change in the color are concluded to be related to volcanic activity, as shown in the video. 
it is recommended for tourists to climb the mountain to take a look at the breathtaking sight. You only have to pay $10 or about 150,000 rupiah and can get there via a car. For the food, it's recommended to try and eat kolo, a rice that is wrapped with banana leaf and then filled in a bamboo and then burned so it will leave a delicious taste. For the traditional instrument, it's recommended to go and see a live performance of the sasando. For the culture, it's recommended to go and see the pasola ritual. It is a mountain spear fighting competition from western Sumba. It is played by throwing wooden spears at the opponent while riding a horse to celebrate the rice planting season. It is only done once every year, on the month of February or March, so it is a rare thing to see. For the traditional game, it is recommended to try and play Rangku Alu, a bamboo game usually played by one person. It was a very popular game for children and teens. Credits and link will be down in the description. Thank you for watching and enjoy Indonesia! Indonesia Merdeka!